Red Bull Racing entered Formula One at the beginning of 2005 and uh, in a relatively short space of time we've gone on to win six world championships, being three drivers championships with Sebastian Vettel, uh, three constructors championships um, in which we've won 34 Grand Prix and had uh, 80 podium finishes. So it's been a remarkable amount of success in a short space of time. The ultimate aim for Infinity Red Bull Racing is uh, us providing software and professional services to them to allow them to make smarter decisions in the development process, ultimately to make them have better products, which results in better time on the track. The Seamus product suite and, and our PLM tools here really help us innovate in all areas. For example, in 2011, we know we were able to improve our lap time by two seconds a lap from the first race of the season to the last. And that was a result of putting many thousands of design changes through the business that year. Uh, the only way we can really combat that is by having a Siemens product that is tightly integrated from one department to the next. It means that all those departments can share that data and so it will work to the same product. Simulation is a key part of our research and development. The Siemens PLM and uh, Team Centre Engineering are crucial for us in terms of turning around designs quickly and getting them implemented onto the car for each coming Grand Prix. We have a virtual wind tunnel that performs similar tests to the, to the actual model car wind tunnel. In parallel to the design of the car, we also send that data to our finite element analysis group and they're performing stress and strain analysis on those parts in parallel to the design activity so that when we finish design, we know we have a part ready for manufacture. From manufacture and test, the parts will then appear in the race phase where they'll be assembled and that's ultimately where final car assembly happens. Well, from an engineering and technical perspective, a Formula One car is basically a prototype. So at each Grand Prix, the car is never in the same configuration twice. So we have to keep evolving. We have to keep developing to the different demands, the different um, you know, requirements that each Grand Prix circuit has. And then if you work collectively you know, to, uh, to deliver solutions, then uh, you can succeed. And I think Red Bull Racing has been a, a classic example of that.